Salute Kings. Be sure to support the merch. And as always, thanks for all the love and the support. Men do what they want. Boys do what they can. Salute Kings. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. On our way to 5,000 subscribers. Let's get it. Let's go. Women will rather share a alpha than have a beta to herself. Why is this? This shows you how much value the beta has to offer her in her life. Okay, yes, free validation. Beta male orbiters. But ultimately, there's no value at all. She doesn't value him. When it comes to an alpha versus a beta, she would rather share an alpha than tolerate a beta to herself. And I do say tolerate because that's what it is. It is a burden upon her. When I see women deal with beta boyfriends on social media and you know YouTube and things like this, it always amazed me how the woman treats the boyfriend as if he's a child who is a burden to her. As if he's a child that she's waiting for the mother or the father to come pick the child up so she can go on about her day and go on about her business. He annoys her. He aggravates her. He doesn't arouse her in any way. He's really there just taking up space. Right? The fall guy. Or better yet, the fall back guy. The guy she deals with when the alpha is busy. <laughs> when the alpha is occupied. He keeps her company. Like the male best friend. Except he's her boyfriend, quote unquote. But when it comes to this alpha, it could be three other women in his rotation and she will share him because this arouses her. This turns her on. SMV again, sexual market value. She wants to be the one who wins the prize. She wants to prove herself for being worthy of this man. Because if I can prove myself to get this alpha from all these other women that he's attracted to, especially if they're beautiful, that he's dealing with, then that shows my worth, my value. I'm the shit. This is her mindset. Meanwhile, you, the beta, you have no value to her. You're just a time killer, a placeholder. Remember, you know, I don't know if you remember like, you know, when people would have people or pay people to wait in line for them. I don't know if they still do that. But I remember like when the newest games would come out or the newest shoes would come out, they had literally, it was a job. It was literally like a job listing. It would be like line waiter or some shit like that. You guys who know what I'm talking about, make sure you comment down below. It's like a fucking line waiter or something like that. Uh, a placeholder. And this person is just there to hold the place until the right one comes. Right? I got to go use the bathroom. Hold my spot for me. This is what the beta male is. He's a placeholder to keep her occupied while she hopes and chases and cries over the alpha and runs behind the alpha. But when the alpha is occupied and he's on his life journey, he's on his semen retention, you know, he's bossing up, he's in the gym, he's making million dollar business deals, right? I'm speaking all this into the alpha's life. She needs something to pass the time. And this is where beta male orbiters come in. This is where these simps come in. The I'll fly you out guy. The I'll like your picture, I'll buy your OnlyFans guy. This is where they come in. They're placeholders. Is that true? Now, this doesn't mean that they don't have any value in the sense of their purpose. We all know their purpose. What is it? Let me hear you say it. What is it, King? Gave you two seconds. Yeah, you're correct. Validation and approval. Specifically, free validation. This is what they're there for. To orbit around her to make her feel like she's the sun. To give her something of importance because she's not getting that from the alpha. She's getting left on red.
The same energy she's giving the beta, she's leaving them on red and, oh, I fell asleep. I didn't see your message or I got to work in the morning. You can't come over. It's the same energy she's receiving from the alpha. She's messaging him and he's responding back two days later. And she loves it. It turns her on. He's something to be conquered in her eyes. She wants to prove herself to him because that's the ultimate worth to her. To show herself as worthy to the guy who ultimately deems her as no different than the rest. Meaning he doesn't pedestalize her. I tell you all the time, when you give constant validation, the thing about it is when you give it, when you give constant approval, approval, it loses its value. Why do you think they constantly need it? People say, well, damn, it seems like they never get full, right? They never overdose on validation, social media validation, approval. It's because the more of they get it, it never fills them. It's never fulfilling because it loses its value. This is why the alpha value and the, excuse me, the alpha validation will always overrain beta orbiters validation. Let me repeat that. The alpha validation will always overpower the beta orbiters validation because it's giving so easily. She knows all she has to do is put up an Instagram pic and she's getting it. She's getting the DM. She's getting the you're the queen. I want to drink your bath water comments. So it doesn't hold really any weight. Yeah, it makes her feel good. But ultimately, she knows that is no real value to this. Just like us men, when women give out sex easy, there's no value to that because you're giving it to everybody. It's easy. Everybody can get it. Everybody has access to it. She knows these beta orbiters are just, you know, just doing the same thing under her friends' pages. But that alpha, he's on his purpose. He's on his grind. He really gives validation. So when he really gives it, he, he, he means it. You earned it. You really earned that. And that, that validation holds that much more weight to her. This is why women would rather share an alpha than have a beta all to themselves. Make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. On our way to 5,000 subscribers. Let's build it, let's get it, let's go. If you enjoyed that video, show Alpha Sincere some love and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure to follow on Instagram at Mr. Female Nature.